Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we are looking at the fact that God's word is our contact with him. The word of God is our contact point with God. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And he says the same was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him. And there was nothing that was made that was made without him. Now, God made all things by his word. Now, you were made by the word of God. And that word produced you and brought us into contact with God. Is our contact point. You know, all the creatures of God... Um, have a common contact point with him, the word. And that's why everything responds to the word. Now, in the case of man, it's um, different in that our contact point with God, which is the word, is um, more intelligible than other creatures like animals and plants. Because God has given us his nature to reason with him so we can understand his word. Now, when God commands the animal kingdom, they respond. He commands, you know, the plant kingdom, you know, all the plants, they respond. Now, in the case of man, when God commands us, he expects of us to yield our will to him because we are made in his image and after his likeness, and we do that willingly. He expects for us to willingly respond to his commands. Praise God. So the word is our contact point. Now, in that same gospel of St. John chapter 1 and, and verse 14 tells us, it says, The word by whom all things were made, you know, became flesh, was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So we... We can behold the glory of God now through the word. It's our contact point with the Father. We can receive um, understanding of God now through the word because the word of God reveals him to us. And the Bible tells us that the same word which was in the beginning that was made flesh called the Lord Jesus Christ in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 tells us that this same word is the brightness, the outshining of the glory of God and the express image of his person. So that means through the word we can see who God is, understand who God is, articulate you know, that understanding deep within our hearts and relate to God as such. The word is a contact point with the Father. And anytime God wants to do anything, He does it by His Word. Everything He created, He created by His Word. And everything He does in the midst of His people, He does by His Word. The Word is a contact point with Him. And that's why it is difficult to relate to the Father intelligibly without a good understanding of God's Word. We are healed by the word. We are born of the word. We are raised by the word. We are nurtured by the word. We are helped by the word. You know, everything the Father does in our midst, he does by his word. And so it is important to learn the word of God so we can relate to the Father intelligibly because the word is our contact point with God. Now, when the word of God comes to you and you receive the ministry of God's word, you begin to relate to the Father intelligibly. You know what he wants. You know his heart desires. You know how you know, he, he, he carries himself, his, his ways. You understand his ways. And by the understanding of God's word, you can walk with God like Enoch did. The Bible says Enoch walked with God and was not for God took him. He had the revelation of God's word. And through that revelation, he had a contact with the Father and that produced a walk with God for 300 years. The Word of God is our contact with God. So treasure the Word and receive the ministry of the Word on a daily basis and you walk with God and enjoy the fullness of the Father in your daily walk. 
in Jesus' name. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.